Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. And as we're inching closer towards the weekend, I think a lot of people are hoping for some nice weather. Well, we're inching closer to a pretty good weekend forecast in the area. Might be a few showers. This is autumn, but I think overall people will be pleased with how things turn out for us. Current weather conditions show that it's going to be chilly tonight. Uh, the high temperature in Wausau was as of 5 p.m. at 49. Now we're at 46 already. We've lost three degrees just in one hour here in Wausau and temperatures generally in the area ranging through the low to mid 40s as of 6 p.m. The good news is there isn't much wind, but that in combination with the low humidity out there and clearing skies is going to lead to the chilly conditions overnight. In fact, my forecast low temperature range for the area tonight is 31 to 36. 34 is my anticipated low for Wausau. Clear to partly cloudy skies tonight. Won't have much wind from the southeast at around 5 miles per hour. Storm Track 9 radar and satellite view still shows the indications of some lingering cloud cover over portions of central and southeastern Wisconsin. Otherwise, fair weather for the Great Lakes now. More clouds to the west associated with a weak low pressure system that will track through here tomorrow night into Saturday, bring us scattered showers Friday night into Saturday morning, but the rest of the weekend then should be dry for the area. Now, the National Weather Service has issued its first preliminary winter outlook covering the months of December through February, and it shows that even though there's no indication of an El Nino or La Nina pattern, but based on the trends we've had the last several months, we're looking at above average precipitation for much of the northern tier of states right into the Great Lakes region. And that would seem to be a trend that's borne out this year. We had plenty of snow during the winter and a good deal of rainfall during the warm season this year. So that seems to be on target for us. As far as the temperature pattern, much of the western southern U.S. into the east coast of New England looks to have above average temperatures for the winter period, December through February. However, there's no clear signal of what to expect here. So maybe at least we'll have kind of a snowy winter, but hopefully it won't be bitterly cold. That's one thing that will certainly would make us more happy. In terms of the next few days, we're looking at reasonably mild temperature readings on the way. Highs for Wausau in the mid 50s to around 60 degrees through Monday. Then we'll trend cooler back into the 40s, but at least we have more pleasant fall weather on the way the next few days. Generally fair tonight, clear to partly cloudy skies. Partly cloudy on Friday means we'll have some sunshine. Southeast winds will be breezy though. That's going to bring warmer air northward into the area. Tomorrow night into Saturday morning, we'll have a chance of scattered showers coming through. By afternoon, that chance should be diminishing, and that's what leads to a pleasant end of the weekend. In fact, if you have plans to go to the Packers game, uh, Sunday at Lambeau Field should be a splendid fall day for that too. Our bus stop forecast tomorrow morning out the door at 7 a.m. We're looking at uh, partly cloudy conditions, uh, temperatures in the range of 32 to 37. Southeast wind not too bad at 6 to 13 miles per hour, so a quiet start to the day. A breezy end to it, but that just means warmer conditions too. Partly cloudy tomorrow afternoon, highs in the low to mid 50s north of Wausau. Mid to upper 50s, maybe even to around 60 degrees to the south. The southeast wind certainly noticeable will blow those leaves around in the neighborhood once again at 10 to 20 miles per hour. But a good forecast for our Friday evening football games. Brad has said we have a full slate of games we'll be covering tomorrow night on News 9. Kickoff time 7 p.m. Temperatures upper 40s to low 50s. Southeast wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The rest of the seven day forecast looks pretty good this weekend. Some morning showers Saturday, then dry through the rest of it. 60 on Sunday, breezy with showers, maybe a thunderstorm on Monday. Windy and chilly Tuesday with showers, then kind of cool the rest of the week with a few showers too.